Hi, it's Lisa here. I've been having lots of conversations with students over the last couple of weeks about branding. So being a brand is an interesting challenge. Being known for knowing something is, I reckon, the ultimate goal for any of us as thought leaders. So what's the point of having loads of expertise and experience if no one knows about you and no one knows about it? Being a trusted expert takes some work and there are a few key things that you really need to get right. Firstly, understand who and what you are. Why you? Why would someone want to work with you? What do you offer? What differentiates you from other people in your field? Be very clear about your message. What messages are you sending out to the world? Message clarity is a constant challenge for many of us. If you are growing and learning, then you will find that your message changes regularly. And that's okay. It may not change dramatically, but you'll be constantly refining and polishing your message. Be open to your message changing and always be clear about what you are about right now. It's a little bit like the difference between Mr. Right and Mr. Right Now. Your message may not be your forever message, but it needs to be right for right now. So branding and blogging are two powerful ways that you get to put messages out into the world. These are deliberate, authored ways of putting yourself out there. Stay on topic. Be consistent with your tone. Fluctuating from hard to soft, serious to funny can often confuse your followers. Visual clues are super important. It's really important to be aware of some of the more subtle ways that people experience you. Two of my favourites are photography and styling. So we've all heard the story that a picture paints a thousand words. And this is definitely true when you look at people's imagery. What's the message your images are conveying? Everything you do, everything you wear... Everything you have is an extension of your brand, whether you know this or not. So the brands you align yourself with, the clothing you choose, the colours you wear. How do you want people to feel? It's important to look approachable and friendly. If you're selling yourself as a trusted expert, then you need to look and feel like a safe pair of hands. Someone who is open and relevant to your market. Beware of any branding that makes you look super crazy, unsafe or dull. No one wants to work with any of that. A common mistake experts make is they try too hard to look and feel important and they often ostracise themselves in the process. So you need to look like someone who people want to work with. Not photographed looking very stern and very uptight. People don't want to be told off. Eye contact and teeth are very vital in good photos. Looking away with a forced smile does not make you look approachable or trusted. So all of your photos, you want to look open, you want to look friendly, you want to look approachable. Make sure that your photos actually look like you. People put a lot of effort into their photos and their styling, and often that effort doesn't translate in reality. If people meet you and are disappointed, you've got a problem. So if you are a very low effort or casual person, do not produce formal or over-styled imagery. Beware of stylists and photographers that will temporarily try and turn you in to a different person. Beware of filters and photoshopped images. Everyone wants to look their best, but faked images are just not the way to create an authentic, trusted connection with your current or future markets. I love Gary Vaynerchuk's quote, it's important to build a personal brand because it's the only thing you're going to have. Your reputation online and in the new business world is pretty much the game. You've got to be a good person, you can't hide anything, and more importantly, you've got to be out there at some level. I hope that's given you something to think about, and I look forward to seeing beautiful brands online. Bye. (music) 